Welcome back. Today I'm going to be changing the engine oil and filter in my 2023 Yamaha YZ250FX. This process is the same for 2020 to 2023 Yamaha YZ250FX and likely very similar for future models as well. It's also the same for 2019 to 2023 YZ250F. I've warmed the engine up for a few minutes and I'm going to go ahead and remove the oil fill cap. Now I'm going to remove the drain plug. It's a 12 millimeter bolt on the rear of the engine on the clutch side. I like to drain the engine oil into a clear container so I can see the condition of it. For example, if it were milky or something, I could tell maybe there was some coolant getting into the oil or there might be some other problem. Now I'm going to remove the oil filter. It's located here on the clutch side and I need to remove these two 8 millimeter bolts. I like to use this funnel and bottle to catch the oil filter without making a mess. I'll include links to these in the video description. It's important to make sure this o-ring is in good shape before you put your new filter in. If it's loose or damaged, replace it. I put some clean oil on these gaskets. The new filter gets installed with the opening towards the engine. Be careful not to over torque these bolts. These are relatively small bolts going into aluminum, so it wouldn't be very difficult to break one off or strip out that aluminum. Now I'm going to install a new crush washer on the drain bolt and reinstall the drain bolt. I've done oil change videos on other bikes before and I get a lot of questions about this Moose Racing oil change stand. Unfortunately, they quit making this thing. I think that's one of the best things that Moose Racing ever made and they quit making it for some reason. So I'd love to give you a link to it, but I just don't know where to find them. You can do all of this work with the bike on the side stand and just hold it upright when you're draining the oil and then hold it upright to check the oil level. But if you can find a stand that works, it gives you room to work under the bike and that works better. Some stands have a hole in the middle for oil changes, but the way the plug is designed on this bike makes that a little more difficult. Now I'm moving to the other side of the engine. I'm going to remove the strainer so I can clean it. This is a 10 millimeter bolt, by the way. I don't see any metal or anything in the strainer. I'm just going to go ahead and clean it out with some contact cleaner and put it back in. Now it's time to refill it. I like to use Yamalube 10W40. You can use whatever oil you like, but what's really important is that you have that MA certification. According to the manual, you can use several different weights of oil. Uh, again, MA certification. There's definitely some misinformation online about the oil capacity of these bikes. This indicates 0.75 liters or 0.79 US quarts with the oil filter removal. So don't worry about what Google says about this, just follow the manual. And what's important is the oil level in the sight glass, and I'll show you that. I like to tighten that just a little bit with pliers so it doesn't vibrate out, but be careful, it is plastic. 
This is an oil level sight glass right here. Right now it's above the sight glass because I haven't primed the filter yet. So I'm gonna start it up, let it run for a few minutes, turn it off, wait one minute, and then check the oil level. Now's a good time to go ahead and reset the oil change interval in my Yamaha Power Tuner app. All right, it's been about a minute and that oil level is right on that top mark. So that's right where I want it. I typically do oil changes on this bike between four and five hours. That typically works out to two races. I think Yamaha recommends changing the oil every seven and a half hours and the filter every 15 hours. I change the filter every time because filters are cheap and I'm already doing the oil change. So I might as well change the filter while I'm doing it. I don't clean the strainer every time I change the oil just because I never find anything in there. So I usually take that thing out and check it maybe every two or three oil changes. I'll include a complete list of tools that I used in this video in the video description, as well as some links to products that you might find helpful. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. That really helps me out. And subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.